here's a disclaimer. Most of this video is just going to be me talking to the camera. So if you want to put this on minimize and just listen, hey, that's completely understandable. Well, I guess I got to go a little bit old school with this one today. Uh, have to go with uh, recording on the phone because I forgot my camera. I also left my sunglasses in the car, so I'm going to drive with my work vehicle. Take it over to my car because I know that it'll get sunny. It'll probably stay cloudy if I uh, do go get my sunglasses, but if I didn't, oh no, the sun would come right out and be ultra blinding. Anyway, today we are two years removed from Hollywood Studios Day and the first park experience, uh, Disney World park experience that I had as an adult and the first one I had in like 25 years uh, prior to that. So uh, it's, it's good to go back and reminisce uh, on the pictures and video that I took um, on this phone actually. Uh, so it's not, uh, too, too different at least. Uh, I do notice a, a pretty big difference, uh, particularly in the audio between filming on my phone and filming on my camera. Obviously the image stabilization, cause I mean, even right now it's a little bit jittery of just the, the engine running, um, and natural shakiness of, of my hands. So Hectic morning, but good. I need a haircut badly, but I don't think that's going to happen until next week or even next weekend. Not entirely sure, but good, good hectic night last night, but I did get the video uh, edited and uploaded. I didn't have nearly as many pictures as I thought, Maybe mostly because I mostly took pictures of my kids, so it was either the ones that I had just taken of, of like the lobby or, uh, and I, and I couldn't really crop out the pictures of my kids cause it just didn't work as far as the subject matter of the photo. Anyway, headed out to a couple of inspections. Definitely got to leave this car running cause this one did not want to start. Whew. That's going to be a, a potential issue today. Maybe I can take it over to the shop today since the snow is done anyway girlfriend's texting me now Woo! so that's a one good thing about doing this on the phone i get all all the alerts and updates right in front of my face let's have a good day let's keep moving forward well good i got everything cleaned off for me so i can see everything perfect and i totally forgot to leave the vehicle running because i'm so used to just turn it off when I get to an inspection. Here goes nothing. Ah! All right, good. For my next one, gotta remind myself to leave it running. Oh boy. Well, thanks, Blippi, for making it to where I can only think of that darn song anytime I see an excavator. Well, good morning, again. Didn't end up uh, editing the video. I felt exhausted. Um, you know, partially just from not sleeping a lot the night before because of the whole car wreck thing and um, dealing with that and just uh, the kids wore me out. Not gonna lie, that that was that was a thing. So out uh, doing some inspections. Had to go to a big house, and I can't say it's a big house. It's a big problem house. Like literally every inspection has been, there's been some sort of issue. Now all the plumbing is basically not vented. It's, I'm gonna have to go look through the code book and see if the way they vented it meets code. Cause there's basically two two inch stacks for the entire house and it's all done in a weird way that I don't normally see. And I'm like, I look at hundreds of houses every year. How this plumber thought this was, I mean, unless they can provide me with something that says, yay, yeah, this meets code, then, then I'll be fine with it. But 
Anyway, today, two years ago, was the first time I had ever stepped into the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. And it was magical, as the name might imply. Uh, we had tickets for early magic hours, so we got there super early. Uh, um, you know, looking back on, on my phone at those pictures, you know, it was it was very much a sunrise situation, and it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, we were with the early magic hours is a hard ticketed event where you had to pay extra money, but you got in there like hour and a half, two hours before. Uh, the actual park opening. So we went over, we went to Fantasyland, and the first ride we rode was um, uh, Mad Tea Party. And it was a lot of fun. And I and I do have a video of that with, with me and my children. I, I remember that one specifically because I have two videos because the first one, like seven seconds in, my mom called me. It's like 7.30 in the morning Eastern time. So why she... <laughs> Was calling me at like 6:30 in the morning here. Still a little, little baffling, but either way, had a great time. We did a bunch of the rides in Fantasyland. You know, with that, with the early morning magic hours, you're just able to walk on to every everything. So we did, you know, Winnie the Pooh and uh, the Under the Sea with Ariel. Um, what a carousel. Trying to even think about all all the things that we did, uh, and then we ended up. Uh, I ended up taking my oldest on their first roller coaster, which was Seven Doors Mine Train, which was so much fun. Uh, I look back at that video with absolutely fond memories. So that's really fun. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to waste time because I don't want to have to come back out here. And they said that they're going to have concrete in 30 minutes. Whew, that's that's being optimistic. So tonight, I'm uh, gonna pick up the kids and go have dinner with my girlfriend because I haven't really been able to see her at all this week just from being so swamped and busy. And I do miss her terribly. Um, you know, it's 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 hard. It's it's a very different way because I was so used to having my significant other there in my house all the time, but obviously I don't I don't have that right now. Uh, not to say that that it won't happen in the future. There's a lot of logistics that go into that, and and also I'm not wanting to rush into that sort of situation um, quite yet. For, multi for a multitude of reasons, you know, one being who knows how the economy and everything is going to be um, with all the fallout from the current situation. So, just so much uncertainty and all that. And I'm rambling again. I realized in my past couple videos, it's like, huh, that doesn't always make sense. It makes sense in my head as I'm saying it. But then it's it's hard to, to go back and uh, edit things when I didn't say them in a particular way. So I guess I'm going to get caught up on a couple of emails. So I know that I got a few since I've been out today. And take a look at this. Hopefully they get done quickly. Head back to the office, start looking up code get some lunch and we're gonna have have a good weekend oh i have gotten like multiple requests from people to go to disney on ice which i really really want to go but i also want to save money and you know it's just just putting me in a very awkward position um so i want to be able to provide that for my children but at the same time i also want to get them a house 
uh, that we can live in comfortably and everything like that. So, and I want to save money for a, a potential trip that we may be taking in two months, I don't know, about a month and a half. Uh, hopefully, you know, because I want to get them good experiences. Um, I want them to be able to, and this is this is a quick like weekend road trip. This isn't Disney World or anything like that. It's not nothing crazy. Just I really want to give them those experiences that they will remember. Because I remember in my own childhood. Of, of traveling now most of that was to Oklahoma to see my mom's family <laughs> Which I don't really know any of them. I don't know any of my family uh, except for my uh, Adopted family which I cherish here in Kansas City um, Which I don't get to see very much either. I mean obviously this past year has made that different but I I hadn't reached out before that either and I need to. I really do. I didn't realize that I'm almost eight minutes into this kind of rant and talking about things. Hopefully I'll sprinkle in a few pictures of of the Disney World when I was when I was talking about it and stuff like that. Maybe when I'm going back to the office, I'll bring up the pictures of, of two years ago. And hopefully that'll put me in a good mood to research code. Um, okay, that sounded even worse when it came out of my head. But anyway, we're going to have a good weekend. We're going to keep moving forward. Well, it's Saturday night now. And I've been meaning to put up a video since Thursday, right? Something like that. Um, but just things have popped up. Um, Thursday, trying to think why. I think it just ended up, you know, one of those another like tired nights. Um, Friday night ended up. Um, so we went over to my girlfriend's uh, after I picked up the kids and just, we were hanging out. Everybody's having a good time. So it was just like, the kids asked if they could stay over. Well, all right, that's sure. Okay. So that's what ended up happening. It was not intended to be that way, but it ended up being great. So woke up this morning, we had breakfast. They were watching TV and playing and and stuff uh, with my girlfriend's kids, and that was that was all great. Came home, made lunch, took naps, um, woke up and played a little bit more, and then doing a split date night thing. Of my ex took my older kid, and then I have the younger one, and tonight was awesome. It was really fun. Um, we just went in the room and played and just with, you know, little toys and stuff. So, uh, that was something I'm, I'm going to cherish. Uh, the next thing was just kind of weird and funny. So I went to walk, uh, to a little restaurant down the street. It's, it's kind of fast food-ish, but it's not a chain, um, but uh, I'm walking there and then realized, oh, okay, they don't have the dining room open at all. They just have their drive through and that's it. Like, oh, well, okay. So I start to turn around, go back home so we can go get the car. But as I'm like leaving and I'm in this parking lot, this lady pulls up and she's like, hey, are you, are you homeless? Do you need a place to stay? And I'm like, no. <laughs> of course, I had my mask on, so I don't, uh, she wouldn't, probably able to see my facial expressions. Well, if you need a place to stay, uh, Bartle Hall downtown, it's a convention center, is is open up to, to homeless. I appreciate it, my apartment's a couple blocks that way. So, 
I feel that she, she was well intentioned. You know, she saw me and a kid, and you know, just walking, and it, it's kind of cold and rainy. It's, more drizzly. It wasn't really like raining hard, but we had our coats on and everything, so you know, I, I knew that I wasn't going to be out very long either. But so that was not the first time I've been thought of mistaken for being homeless. Although the other time made more sense because I was wearing like a camouflage jacket, and that's when I had long hair and the big grizzly beard, and uh, I probably looked relatively disheveled that day so that that one made more sense this one like i didn't feel like i looked particularly homeless like just wearing jeans and a hoodie and then my i had my car hard jacket on my work jacket like anyway um but uh, went and got food brought it home we ate and snuggled on the couch and watched Hercules and it was fun and then um, went back to the, uh, my kids room played a little bit longer read three books and then put, put them to bed so now here I am just talked to my girlfriend for a while she's amazing although we may not be going on the trip now uh, there's just some Little little details popping up. Completely understandable. And it's good for us to save some money and work on some other projects and stuff like that. So I may end up taking my kids on a quick little trip. It may not be that same weekend, but it'll all work out. So anyway, I know this is gonna be a longer video because I've got that one from yesterday that was like a 10 minute long rant. It's mostly my talking head, so probably should put this at the beginning of it. Here's a disclaimer. Most of this video is just going to be me talking to the camera, so if you want to put this on minimize and just listen, hey, that's completely understandable. So you might have heard that statement twice. But anyway, have a good evening and keep moving forward.